Welcome to the Paul Chandler Show. I'm your host, Paul Chandler. In tonight's episode, Captain Awesome is back and he'll be helping us learn tonight about the clinical side of Alzheimer's disease. So stay tuned and when you come back, you'll have Captain Awesome. Hello everyone, your best friend, Captain Awesome is here again, and today we're going to talk about Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive disorder that causes brain cells to waste away or degenerate and die. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia, a continuous decline in thinking, behavioral and social skills that disrupts a person's ability to function independently. Memory loss is the key symptom of Alzheimer's disease. An early sign of the disease is usually difficulty remembering recent events or conversations. As the disease progresses, memory impairments worsen and other symptoms develop. At first, a person with Alzheimer's disease may be aware of having difficulty with remembering things and organizing thoughts. A family member or friend may be more likely to notice how the symptoms worsen. Brain changes associated with Alzheimer's disease lead to growing trouble with memory, thinking and reasoning, making judgments and decisions, planning and performing familiar tasks, changes in personality and behavior, and preserve skills. A number of conditions, including treatable conditions, can result in memory loss or other dementia symptoms. If you are concerned about your memory or other thinking skills, talk to your doctor for a thorough assessment and diagnosis. If you are concerned about thinking skills you observe in a family member or friend, talk about your concerns and ask about going together to a doctor's appointment. Scientists believe that for most people, Alzheimer's disease is caused by a combination of genetic, lifestyle, and environmental factors that affect the brain over time. Less than 1% of the time, Alzheimer's is caused by specific genetic changes that virtually guarantee a person will develop the disease. These rare occurrences usually result in disease onset in middle age. While the exact causes of Alzheimer's disease aren't fully understood, but at its core are problems with brain proteins that fail to function normally, disrupt the work of the brain cells, known as neurons, and unleash a series of toxic events. Neurons are damaged, lose connections to each other, and eventually die. The damage most often starts in the region of the brain that controls memory, but the process begins years before the first symptoms. The loss of neurons spreads in a somewhat predictable pattern to other regions of the brain, and by the late stage of the disease, the brain has shrunk significantly. There are several risk factors to Alzheimer's disease, including age, family history and genetics, Down syndrome, sex, mild cognitive impairment, past head trauma, poor sleep patterns, lifestyle and heart health, and lifelong learning and social engagement. Increasing age is the greatest known risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's is not part of normal aging, but as you grow older, the likelihood of developing Alzheimer's disease increases. One study, for example, found that annually there were two new diagnoses per 1,000 people ages 65 to 74, 11 new diagnoses per 1,000 people between the ages of 75 and 84, and 37 new diagnoses per 1,000 people aged 85 and older. Mild cognitive impairment, known as MCI, is a decline in memory and other thinking skills that is greater than would normally be expected for a person's age, but the decline doesn't prevent a person from functioning in social or work environments. People who have MCI has a significant risk of developing dementia, when the primary MCI deficit is memory, the condition is more likely to progress to dementia due to Alzheimer's disease. A diagnosis of MCI enables the person to focus on healthy lifestyle changes, develop strategies to compensate for memory loss, and schedule regular doctor appointments to monitor symptoms. 
Research has shown that some risk factors associated with heart disease may also increase the risk of Alzheimer's disease. And these include lack of exercise, obesity, smoking or exposure to secondhand smoke, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and poorly controlled type 2 diabetes. Memory and language loss, impaired judgment, and other cognitive changes caused by Alzheimer's can complicate treatment for other health conditions. A person with Alzheimer's disease may not be able to communicate that he or she is experiencing pain, for example, from a dental problem, report symptoms of another illness, follow a prescribed treatment plan, or notice and describe medication side effects. As Alzheimer's disease progresses to its last stages, brain changes begin to affect physical functions, such as swallowing, balance, and bowel and bladder control. These effects can increase vulnerability to additional health problems, such as inhaling food or liquid into the lungs, known as aspiration, pneumonia and other infections, falls, fractures, bed sores, and malnutrition or dehydration. Alzheimer's disease is not a preventable condition. However, a number of lifestyle risk factors for Alzheimer's can be modified. Evidence suggests that changes in diet, exercise, and habits, steps to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease, may also lower your risk of developing Alzheimer's disease and other disorders that causes dementia. Heart healthy lifestyle choices that may reduce the risk of Alzheimer's include the following. Exercise regularly. Eat a diet of fresh produce, healthy oils, and foods low in saturated fat. Follow treatment guidelines to manage high blood pressure, diabetes, and high cholesterol. And if you smoke, ask your doctor to help quit smoking. Studies have shown that preserved thinking skills later in life and a reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease are associated with participating in social events, reading, dancing, playing board games, creating art, playing an instrument, and other activities that require mental and social engagement. And that wraps up all the time we have today to discuss Alzheimer's disease. But before I fly out of here, back to you, Paul, at the Ball Chandler Show studio. Bye-bye now. Thanks, Captain. You're so awesome. Hope you enjoyed learning that education on Alzheimer's disease. And remember to visit our website, thepaulchandlershow.com, and up on the top, let us know what topics you'd like to learn about here on the show. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome rest of your night. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's so easy. It's right there. A little button. Just push it. Subscribe. I got all night. Nothing else to do. Just subscribe. <laughs>